What's up everybody, I'm Jesse, and today we're gonna be talking about key commands inside of Sketch for Mac. They're gonna increase your productivity and make you faster as you're designing. People are gonna look at you and think you have superpowers, because you do. Today I'm gonna to break the video up into two parts. One is the default key commands that are inside of Sketch, and then we're also gonna be talking about some custom key commands, how to set those up on your Mac, and how to use them inside of Sketch. Let's do it. The first one on the list is knowing how to insert shapes using the hotkeys. Up in my toolbar you can see I have the three most commonly used kind of shapes you have, the rectangle, the rounded, and the oval. You can also insert them by going up to insert shape, but that's crazy, that takes a lot of time. Knowing and remembering that R stands for rectangle, that U stands for rounded, and that O stands for ellipse is gonna save you a lot of time knowing how to insert those shapes. Number two and three on the list are really, really similar, but saves you a lot of time not having to go to the toolbar to turn on and off your rulers and also your layout or your guides, right? So knowing that control R is your rulers, being able to turn those on and off, control R, and also control L to turn on that layout or that grid, so to speak, or those guides. The next one on the list you probably know, but it happens all the time. You need to put a new artboard onto the canvas, and that's as simple as pressing A on your keyboard. You can either draw a new artboard in, like so, or you can do what most people will probably do, which is press A and then head up to the different device sizes and just click and insert. Last one you're gonna use all the time and that's inserting a simple text layer. And it's really easy, you just press T for text. Press T and then just click where you're at and now you can add some text. So let's say you find yourself doing something over and over and it happens to be in the menu without some sort of quick key. Like if I go to insert a new shape and I just really, really love stars, I have to come up here and do this every single time. The first step of creating a custom key command is finding the command inside the menu system and seeing exactly how it's written. So this is star with an uppercase S. The next step is to open up your system preferences, which I have handy dandy right here and you want to click into the keyboard section. Inside of your Mac, inside of your keyboard section, you should have a tab called shortcuts and you should have a tab called app shortcuts. And when I look over you can see that if I create a shortcut for an application, a third party application, I can do that here, save it, store it, and then come back and edit them later. Let's say I want to add another one for sketch right now. I'm going to come down to sketch, I'm going to find that, and we want to make a new command for that star, like inserting of a star shape. So we're gonna type it just like it is in the menu, and then we're gonna go to the keyboard shortcut, and we're just going to write, or press down whatever we want that command to be represented. So let's try something really crazy. How about a star is control, option, command, S, okay? That's how we're gonna do a star. We can add that, and now when I come back into Sketch, I can press Control, Option, Command, S, and my cursor came up and I can draw a star. So let me show you the five most helpful ones, in my opinion, that I use all the time. The first one I use constantly because look, already, just from clicking different items, you can see I have all sorts of uncollapsed groupings over in my layers panel, and so frustrating, especially if you have like, not just three or four artboards, but 20, 30, or 40 artboards on your canvas. So I made a key command that is just command and the tilde, and it just closes up all of my groups. Command tilde to close up all of my groups. So nice. The next commands that are really, really helpful, I'm kind of combining them into one, but it's really all about alignment. Aligning things to the center horizontally and vertically tends to be the thing I do most of all. So, so I've created two keyboard shortcuts, which are command option H for horizontal and command option V for vertical. If you're OCD like me, you want things to be precise and perfectly on point, and so that's why we round things to the nearest pixel. Like for instance, let's say I have this travel app logo that's right there. What if it gets put 77.7 .7 
and 130.2. Somehow, it looks like it's even. It looks like it's centered, but when I click on it, I see that it's not. It's positioned kind of funky. So I've set up Command R to be able to press Command R and just simply round those to the nearest numbers. It's really nice. I don't know about you, but I love making symbols. I love symbols in general. And making symbols should not be so tedious. Now, it's not really tedious. You can just click on something and come up here in your toolbar and press create symbol. Sure, that's really, really nice. But wouldn't it be nicer if you had everything on the page the way you wanted it and you could just click on things and press control option S for symbol. Yeah. That is nice. And that's exactly what I have set up is control option S to make symbols. The last one I use constantly, and that is the ability to replace images really, really quickly. So, you know, let's say I have this image right here and it's over in my layers panel. It's sitting there and I want to replace it. So I just come over to my image and press command option R and it immediately opens up my finder and I can go find the right photo and open it, and it just slaps it right into place. Well, that's it. Those are the 10 key commands that I use all the time to speed up my workflow. What kind of key commands are you using that maybe I missed? Leave those down in the comments so I know. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I do lots of videos about design and development and tutorials on Sketch just like this one, so maybe stick around. I hope you guys are having an amazing week designing amazing things, making amazing things, and being really smart and productive while you're doing it. I'll see you in the next one.